the simple formula that I use. We do an important sentence. We do absolutely necessary background information. Really quick, what were my methods? Two to three sentences on my key results and then one sentence telling them why they should really care about my study, what my study means for the reader of this. So we're gonna go step by step. We're gonna start with our important sentence. So we're gonna do steroids are an essential biomolecule for medical diagnoses and environmental testing. The absolutely necessary background information should give them the understanding of why you're doing the study. The why to my study is steroids are difficult to analyze and we're gonna use IM mobility to be able to analyze those steroids. So I'm saying a lot in this sentence. One, I'm talking about why are we doing this? Because steroids are hard to analyze. Why are steroids hard to analyze? Because they have a lot of isomers and they're at low biological concentration, which I'm including in here. And I'm even telling them what ion mobility spectrometry is. It's a gas phase ion separator. It depends on where I'm submitting, how much background information I'm gonna include. I, I submitted my review to the journal Steroids. I needed to include a lot more information about ion mobility and less information about steroids because most of that audience knew what steroids were but didn't know what ion mobility was. Now we're gonna do one sentence on my method. So that's a really, really simplified view of what we did here. So next thing, we're gonna do two to three um, sentences on my key results. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in here what those sentences are going to be saying. So we're going to be talking about um, ability to separate steroids. The other key result I'm gonna do is talk about the formation of a heterodimer. And then finally, my final result is going to be agreement of CCS. We're gonna say um, the use of group one metal adduction was able to separate four of the five isomer pairs at a resolution value above 1.5. So adding in quantitative data where you can in your abstract is really good. Um, so being able to say, what does separate mean is essentially what I'm doing there. And then I could even in parentheses put mean resolution value equals, and then it could like equal 1.76 or something like that, just to like show what I'm doing here. Then we're gonna talk about formation of the heterodimer. One pair of isomers was unable to be separated due to the formation of a heterodimer that had a mobility between the two isomers. So, and then the agreement of CCSs is, is in addition, we measured collision cross sections, CCS, and found that they all agreed with previous literature, and then I would cite here. So I'm gonna do at, go to my library, and I can add in this citation here. Now we just need to do one sentence on the impact of my study. These results show that ion mobility, spectrometry, and metal adduction can successfully separate specific steroid isomers. However, the formation of heterodimers could present a significant issue in this method being used for routine clinical application. So this is basically a one conclusion sentence about like my results, but it's also explaining why you should care. Like, how does this impact our ultimate goal? And our ultimate goal is to be able to use these methods in um, medical diagnoses and environmental testing. 
So now I can combine this all together I Can take out all of my notes in here. So now I have all of this. So now I can highlight it and you can see that this is now around 173 words. That's pretty close to what most um, abstracts are that I found. If you are um, looking to write your research paper again, don't forget to download my scientific research paper checklist. It is in the description below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.